I think, uh, should we begin? Pradeep, can you give us a heads up? It's better now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, sir. Can we begin? Okay, so I, yeah. So everyone, okay, so it's 6.30 and I think we are pretty much good to go. Okay. Um, so good evening, Mr. Madhukar Govind Raju, our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Sanjay Patode, respected co-founder of Jagdishet School of Management, also known as Jackson, and president of Vijay Bhumi University. Chairperson Jagdishet School of Management, Professor Jagdishet, recipient of the Padma Bhushan Award, Pro Chancellor of Vijay Bhumi University and Chairman Board of Studies Jackson, and Emeritus Professor of Marketing of University of Miami, Professor Parsuraman, our Director Dr. Atish Chattopadhyay, Dean Professor Rakesh Medirata, other dignitaries, our management parents, faculty, staff, and of course, our dear students. Welcome to the convocation of the class of 2021, and we wish you a very pleasant evening. This is Professor Benita here, and I have my colleague, Dr. Kamalika, and we will be your hosts today. So dear audience, we would like to inform you that in the light of this being a virtual convocation, we have made a few adjustments to suit the online platform. Students, this will be a momentous occasion for you all. And now I would like to announce the do's and don'ts on decorum that the audience will be required to follow throughout the ceremony. First, audience, we do request you to keep your phones on silent or switch them off. Next, please keep yourselves on mute as well as keep the videos off throughout the convocation ceremony. We urge you to comply with these rules to make this evening truly memorable. So here is the agenda for the timings today. Okay. So that's the, those are all the items that we are going to go through today with the timings and that's displayed. Convocation day is a day full of joy, a day about pride and accomplishment, a day of celebration. Students, you come from an inspired family at Jagdishet School of Management with ignited minds. So with this fire in your heart, get ready to march to the beat of the exciting business world you have just entered. Your possibilities are endless when you just believe in yourself. So audience, we would now like to begin the ceremony with the symbolic lighting of the lamp to mark an auspicious beginning. May I request the following dignitaries to join in the auspicious lighting of the lamp ceremony? Mr. Sanjay Patode, Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Madhukar Govind Raju, the founder and CEO of Namli Incorporated, Padma Bhushan recipient, uh, Professor Jagdishet, Madam Kalpana Patode, Secretary CDE, Dr. Atish Chattopadhyay, and Professor Rakesh Medarata. Bidisha, from our current batch, will, through her invocation song, seek the blessings of the Almighty. Prabhiti Devai Sadam 
Thank you, everybody. I would now like to request our co-founder of JAXOM and president of Vijay Bhumi University, Mr. Sanjay Patode, to declare the 25th convocation open. I declare the 25th convocation open. Thank you, sir. May I now request Mr. Sanjay Potode to welcome our dignitaries and our audience. A very good evening to all of you. It's a very, very special uh, evening for all of us, uh, though in unprecedented times, challenging times. But I think, uh, you know, when challenges come, we innovate and we find out ways of how to overcome these challenges. So I must, before I start welcoming, I must put into record some of the good things that I find uh, business school now called as Jagdish School of Management has done. So two years ago, we had a face-to-face -face convocation. Last year, we had a hybrid conversa uh, co convocation, which uh, took place between Delhi, uh, Bangalore, and people on the virtual side, as well as people on uh, in the US. So that's what we did. And this year is a completely virtual convocation. So we have done everything, face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and complete. And this being the 25th, it's extremely special to all of us. So this is the 25th uh, batch of uh, IFM Business School, but the first batch of Jagdish School of Management graduating. So this makes this occasion very, very, very special. Now, I would like to welcome, heartily welcome the chief guest, Mr. Madhukar Govind Raju, founder and CEO of Namli. Uh, Mr. Madhukar, thank you for spending your valuable time this morning at your end and evening at our end. You have been a staunch supporter and you know, last year, I think, uh, you know, there, there, there were a lot of our graduates who got placed in your company and there was extensive work done in our innovative uh, intervention called Request for Problem, falling into internships and so on and so forth. So we really do appreciate your presence and we're looking forward to your, uh, to the speech, to the graduating batch that you want to give later on in this program. I would also like to welcome Professor Jagdish Shade, the chairman of Jagdish Shade School of Management, I think this is a landmark year for Jagdish Seth School of Management. We changed our name in the honor of Professor Jagdish Seth, who does not need any introduction. He's a Padma Bhushan winner. And, you know, I can go on. It will be never ending. In fact, uh, I could take the entire three hours of the convocation talking about Professor Jagdish Seth. So I would just introduce you to the Professor Jagdish Seth. I think that's the best way to put it. Welcome, yeah. sir. And <laughs> Thank you. Under your chairmanship and under the new name of the school, I'm sure this batch which is graduating is going to be extremely blessed. And for them, it's going to be a great, I mean, it's a great surprise for them because they get got admitted in IFM Business School and they graduated from the school, Shade School of Management. So that's something right. for them, you know, which needs to be uh, celebrated. Uh, obviously, I need to uh, welcome my colleague, our, uh, you know, the director of the DC School of Management, uh, Professor Atish Chattopadhyay, welcome. And uh, without you and the extensive effort made by you and the dean, Professor Rakesh Madarita, this, this event would have not yeah. been possible. So, and it's been very well organized. Uh, my compliments to you for that and welcome. I would also like to welcome all the board of members of the Board of Governors, our alumni, and all the stakeholders of uh, Jagdish Shade School of Management uh, who are present on this occasion. Moreover, I think most important, I mean, this day is for them, the graduating bats of this year. Welcome to you all students and the parents of these students. I think they deserve, uh, I mean, this is their day for celebration. And uh, from my side, I think that's it. Uh, welcome to all of you and let the show begin. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Dear audience, we would like you to meet our honorable chief guest, Mr. Madhukar Govind Raju. Mr. Madhukar Govind Raju is the founder and CEO of Namli. 
As an experienced tech entrepreneur, Mr. Govind Raju brings more than two decades of experience in the software industry as a GM, CTO, SVP Engineering and Business Leader at some of the world's leading software companies, including VMware, Microsoft, Trinet HR, Saba Software, Hyperion Solutions, HP, IBM and several successful startups. Mr. Madhukar, thank you for sparing time for us this evening and this audience looks forward to your address later on. I would now invite Dr. Atish Chattopadhyay to present his address. Thank you, Kamalika ma'am. Good evening to all of you. Distinguished Chief Guest, Sri Madhukar Govindaraju, Honorable Professor Jagdish Sheth, Sri Sanjay Padore, Professor Parasuraman, Srimati Kalpana Padode, Honorable Members of the Board of Governors and the Board of Studies, my friends in faculty and administration, friends from the academia, I can see many of them, friends from the industry, media, parents and friends of the graduating participants, and my dear graduating class of 2021. I extend a hearty welcome to you to the 25th convocation of Jagdish Shade School of Management, popularly known as Jackson, formerly IFIM Business School. While the world struggled with the pandemic last year, for Jackson, it has been a year of phenomenal growth and achievements. On October 21, 2020, in an unprecedented development, Global Thinker and Padma Bhushan Awardee, Professor Jagdish Sher accepted to rename IFIM Business School Bangalore in his name as the Jagdish Sher School of Management and also accepted to be the chairman of the Board of Governors. This is also a unique case where a co-founder, Sri Sanjay Padode, selflessly relinquished the chairmanship to propel a business school further on its journey towards globalization. So thank you, Professor Shet, and thank you, Sanjay Padode, for making this happen. I think both of them deserve a round of applause. Jackson was the sixth business school in India to become AACSP accredited. And post the AACSP accreditation in 2018, we took a break from participating in the Indian rankings and prepared for global rankings. In 2020, Jackson broke into the global rankings, being ranked in the 51 plus band globally in the QS Masters in Marketing rankings and in the 101 plus band globally in the QS Masters in Finance Rankings. Jackson was the only business school from India that has been ranked in the QS Masters in Marketing Rankings and the QS Masters in Finance Rankings 2021. This also puts Jackson in the league of 8 to 10 top business schools in India who have an international profile. Last year, Jackson also received the SAQS reaccreditation from the Association Management Development Institutions of South Asia for a period of five years. AACSB International recognized Jackson as a champion of change in business education landscape last year. Jackson was one out of only 24 business schools globally to feature in the 2021 AACSB innovations that inspire list. I think the entire faculty, student, all of us deserve a round of applause. Karnathan, an expedition, experiential program for social impact, received the 2021 AACSB innovations that inspire award for creating positive social impact. Just to explain, 
Karnathan is a student driven annual charity marathon that raises funds to uplift the lives of the girl child and for women empowerment to make a social impact aligned to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals or SDG and impacts SDG 1 that is no poverty and SDG 5 gender equality. The surplus funds raised by Karnathan 2021 event were also disbursed towards the development of Karnathan Shiksha Kendra at the villages adopted by Jackson in Kolar as part of the Unnat Bharat Abhiyam. The Shiksha Kendra will largely focus on computer literacy, English communication, life skills, and personal hygiene. The Kendra will be an interactive digital learning platform, a first of its kind in any villages. Our chairman, Professor Shet, emphasizes on identifying and polishing the rough diamonds. Jackson curriculum and pedagogy was reoriented post a survey of industry practitioners to act as learner potential multiplier to groom T-shaped professionals for new age roles in industry 4.0. This graduating class of 2021 is the first batch who ripped the benefit of the new curriculum, supported by a pedagogy of learning by solving, delivered by domain specialist faculty. We at Jackson believe self-awareness and self-management are the starting points for leadership development. The participating of this graduating class holds the unique privilege of being the first group of participants to be at our pristine Vijay Bhumi University campus for their outbound leadership lab. The lab acts as a starting point for understanding oneself, team dynamics, and facilitates the formulation of an individual development plan. This is followed by mentoring where senior industry professionals guide students in goal setting and realization of their professional aspirations. As the world struggles to ensure mental and physical well-being amid the pandemic, thanks to our curriculum innovation, we already had an initiative, personality enhancement program in place where we continued our wellness program online where participants walked out with our fitness trainers every morning, even during the pandemic, via Zoom to practice yoga and Zumba. The program also honed the essential skills of the participants like communications, negotiation, and cross-cultural orientation. The impact of the program was evident as 60% of the participants figured in the excellent category in terms of their aptitude as against a mere 1% at the beginning of the program. Also, none of the participants in this graduating class figure in the unsatisfactory category in terms of body composition analysis. Jackson prides itself to be a student-driven and faculty-led institution. The key activities of Jackson are managed by students grouped in 17 different institutional committees as part of the effective execution course. Students learn decision-making, administration, conflict management, and execution in the process of working in teams. The students of Jackson participated in various global competitions with support of their faculty. One such competition that was undertaken by Jackson students is the Hulk Prize, which is held in partnership with the United Nations. The Hulk Prize is an event to find out the best social entrepreneurs who can solve the most pressing issues that exist in the society. I'm glad to share that Jackson is the first institute to hold the on-campus round offline in the Hulk Prize India community post the COVID crisis. Jackson students also participated in various other competitions, such as Walk the Stock, Finanza, Stock and Roll, 
Finn Weiser, the finance mogul, international Bloomberg Olympiad, CMT Investment Challenge, Google Online Marketing Challenge, and Lessons in Marketing Excellence or Lime, to name a few. Jackson students undertook social immersions with NGOs. Students learned to design solutions for social problems through a techno-economic viability study, thereby enabling sustainable, socially positive, and measurable impact on the UN SDGs. Last year, a total of 25 projects were carried out in association with NGOs, even during the pandemic. Six white papers were selected for publication through blind review. These were then compiled and published as an edited volume, The Impact of Socially Responsible Business Education. The Innovation Incubation Program at Jackson is aimed to develop an entrepreneurial mindset and enables them to tackle business problems and challenges to creativity and innovation. A total of 17 innovation incubation projects of this graduating class were presented in front of a jury comprising of entrepreneurs and practitioners. Two projects were found feasible candidates for further maintaining the edited volume of the selected innovation incubation projects based on jury round evaluation was compiled and published as an edited volume. Jackson is the first business school in the country to institutionalize the pedagogy of learning by solving, where international and domestic faculty members from past partner institutions mentor groups of participants to solve real life business challenges. The pedagogy of learning by solving is delivered through integration of three unique initiatives, namely research incubation, capstone projects of, of super specializations, and a long duration industry internship program. The research incubation program is a program where students learn business research methodology, receive faculty mentoring, and gain practitioner input to develop projects that result in a publishable body of knowledge. The research incubation program is integrated with requests for problems or RFPs from the industry partners, where students in groups work on solutions to industry problems. The RFPs are an integral part of the super specialization program, which is carried out in collaboration with global business schools or industry partners. The students of this graduating class undertook 46 such projects. The super specializations are a unique opportunity for participants to study the most relevant and contemporary areas to be ready for emerging roles in the industry. It is a 10 credit program curated for a multi-generation cohort taking specialized courses with our partner institutes or industry partners. It has four distinct components. Master class by faculty from our partner institutions, immersive coursework at Jackson and the partner institution, group work on business case, and a capstone project involving solving of real life problems. The graduating class of 2021 is the first group of students who got the advantage of this unique pedagogical intervention across the following areas. MarTech in association with the Darden School of Business at the University of Virginia, the Sales and Service in partnership with the AIM Porosaraman Center for Service Excellence, FinTech and Digital Transformation in association with ESCP Business School, Banking in association with Indian Institute of Banking and Finance, Capital Markets in association with the Dalal Street Investment Journal, Business Analytics in partnership with InSofi, and Digital HR in partnership with Logarithm HR. I am grateful to the board of Jackson, especially your co-founder, Sri Sanjay Parode, for funding this initiative to the tune of approximately INR 2 crore or 20 million, including extending scholarship to the students of this graduating class of around 1 CR or 10 million. I think our co-founder, Sanjay Parode, deserves a big round of applause. And that too during the pandemic. This integrated pathway of research incubation followed by super specialization 
and industry internship has led to an engagement driven placement outcome with our industry partners and today's chief guest mr madhukar represents one such corporate partner namely thank you mr madhukar for supporting us the outcome of our curriculum and pedagogy interventions is evident from the success of our learners in 2021 Jacksom recorded a jump of 12% in the average annual package offered and the average annual package of the graduating class stands at over INR 10.2 million lakhs per annum. Jacksom bid the MBA placement blues during the covid with more than 70 companies virtually recruiting this year. In addition to the established brands like oracle kpmg grand thornton dell hdfc bny eny or hexaver jacksom emerged as a preferred destination for new age companies like namly osg or cesium qmath matrix team scalar and smart knower to name a few jacksom's faculty are actively engaged in the creation and dissemination of knowledge This focus has resulted in the publication of 15 research papers in reputed journals including 3 in ABDC A and 2 in ABDC B category journals plus around 27 broad audience publications and 3 edited books. Jacksom conducted the international conference on winning through service excellence theory and practice. The conference was chaired by Professor Parasuraman pro chancellor vijay gupta university and was organized by aim parusaravan center for service excellence the conference was attended by over 300 national and international participants jacksom also conducted the international digital conference 2021 on curriculum 4.0 jointly with umt lahore in pakistan jacksom continued to expand its footprint both across academia and the industry A customized faculty development program was delivered for North South University in Bangladesh. Jacksom collaborated with the National Human Resources Development Network or the NHRDN and organized the seventh edition of Confluence on the theme how, how higher education institutions can reboot the economy. The event attracted more than 700 participants across industry and academia. Today 14 participants from the working professional program are completing their pgdm and attaining the status of a jacksom alumni the graduating participants of the executive programs are already making the learning environment at jacksom richer by conducting knowledge sharing sessions and talks for participants of other programs last year when the lockdown was imminent we prepared ourselves for a long haul we oriented our faculty and staff with solutions that technology can offer and the pedagogy of online teaching learning including the use of platforms like zoom and its integration with lms erp and social networking we moved our assessments online including formulation of of guidelines for the online examinations in short we were prepared today jacksom probably is one of the first institutions in india to have not only successfully placed the graduating class of 2021 but have also completed all the academic requirements to hold the 25th convocation on time i think uh, there were some issues raised at that point in time as to whether we should continue or not but we decided to go ahead in the words of tagore if no one responds to your call then go your own way alone যদি তোর ডাক শুনে কেউ না আসে তবে একলা চলো এ বিগ থ্যাংক ইউ টু দ্য টিম জ্যাকসম আর ফ্যাকাল্টি আর স্টুডেন্টস স্টাফ আর প্যারেন্টস অ্যান্ড দ্য রিক্রুটার্স ফর মেকিং দিস হ্যাপেন সাপোর্টেড বাই এ বোর্ড উইচ ট্রুলি এমপাওয়ার্স অ্যান্ড আই এম গ্রেটফুল ফর দ্যাট আই থ্যাঙ্ক মাই ফ্যাকাল্টি কোলিগস ফর দেয়ার মেনটেনিং অ্যান্ড মেকিং দিস জার্নি রিওয়ার্ডিং অ্যান্ড এন রিচিং words are not enough to thank and acknowledge the efforts put in by all the staff members of jacksom to put a smile on each of our faces even in these troubling and challenging times 
I thank the parents and the family members of our participants for reposing your trust in us and for encouraging us all the way. I especially thank the participants of the PGDM and the WPP program for their willingness to collaborate, support, and encourage. On this 25th Convocation Day, we recommit ourselves to nurture holistic, socially responsible, and continuously employable professionals. As you celebrate your graduation, I urge you to treat each day as a celebration. As graduates of Jackson, I am certain that you will uphold those values that Jackson stands for. Values of non-self-centeredness, contribution, empathy, and humility. I am confident that you will be able to combine profit with purpose and success with significance. Hearty congratulations to each one of you, and I wish you the very best as you start your journey as an alumnus of Jagdish Shade School of Management. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Dear audience, the annual report is now available for your access on the Jackson website, and you will also find the link to our annual report on the chat box soon. Thank you. Um, I now request Dr. Shashmita Giri, Chairperson, two-year PGDM programs, to present the PGDM students for conferment of the Diploma Certificate. Based on the recommendation of the Faculty Council and duly approved by the Board of Governors, I present to you the students present here and those in absentia who have successfully completed the prescribed requirements under the regulations of the two-year postgraduate program in management and have been found fit for the award of the postgraduate diploma in management and pray that they be admitted. Sir? Yeah. Yes. Um, I request uh, Sanjay, sir. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Center of Developmental Education, Faculty Council, and the Board of Governors of the Institute, I admit you all, including an absentia, to the postgraduate diploma in management and charge you to be worthy of the same. Okay. Thank uh, you. Right. Thank you, sir. May I now request Professor Rakesh Medirata to carry forth with the graduation book signing. Audience, you will be able to see the graduation book with the signature of Dr. Akish Chattopadhyay and Mr. Sanjay Patode on the screen. Okay. Audience, it is now time to present the certificates to our graduating students of the two-year PGDM programs. In the interest of the virtual mode, we will be displaying each student's photograph and corresponding certificate on the screen, as well as calling out their name. Students, your memory of this moment will be a screenshot with the dignitaries and your certificate. Honorable Chief Guest, may I request you to present the certificates to the graduating students of the two-year PGDM programs as called out by Dr. Shashmita Giri. Thank you, Professor Benita. The names go in alphabetical order. Akriti Jain. Abdullah Sadik. Abhijit Kumar. Abhishek Singh. Abhishek Singh. Achala Tewari. Afsiya Khanam. Ajay Aditya Sundar. Akshay Kumar Jay Shankaran. Alex Brechen, Amrishan P.S. 
अमित सिंह अमूल्य वंकन मिडी अंजलि कृष्णा एस पी अंकित शर्मा अंकिता राजेश अनुष्का रेड्डी सॉरी अनुष्का केडिया अनुष्का राजसिम्हा अरविंद आर अचित शर्मा अचिता कुमारी अरीफ आजिज आरजू विकास जैन अर्जुन एच अर्नाफ चौधरी अरुण बाबूराज सी ऐश्वर्य प्रताप सिंह आस्था जांगिड अवि चौधरी अविनाश कुमार आयुष सोम आयुष व्यास कुकिल्या आयुषी सतीश सिंह बेनी जेम्स भाव्या सिंह बोटू सौम्या चाहत जयसवाल चांदनी गोपालन चिराग एस डेविड इमैनुअल एन दीपक चित्रा वस्तिमलई दीपाली मोर धनराज कटिमानी धीरज कुमार अग्रवाल दिशा ओझा दिव्या रवि दिव्या सिंह दिव्यांश गर्ग दिव्यांशु संतोष कुलकर्णी दिया मुरली दिया रॉय फहदुल्ला खान फेलसिया डी गोकुल एस गोविंद वेणुगोपाल गुप्ता जीनल वीरेंद्र कुमार हेमंत कुमार टी एस हिमांशु खंडल हुजैफा अतरवाला इनुगंती ईश्वर इशिता जैन इशिता तिवारी जैकब नवीन कुरुविला जयंतिका अरोरा 
जॉन जॉर्ज कवल कवलाकट के साई कौशिक वर्मा कंबन पृथ्वीराज कंचन बेलानी कांतिपुरी कृष्ण चौधरी कनुमूरी वैष्णवी कपिल विजय करी पुष्पवलिका करी वीरा वेंकट दीप्या रेड्डी कौशिक के स्वरूप काव्यश्री एन कीर्ति वर्मा कृतिका मिश्रा लिप्सा दास एम गौतम शंकर माधुरी रेड्डी अदुला मधुवंती केवी महालक्ष्मी एस माला मानसा मालविका एस दवे मनीमारण रामकृष्णन मोदी बंसी चेतन मनोजा मीनगा मयंक अगरवाल मयंक जैन मेघना राय मेली मेहता मोहम्मद शाद मोहम्मद आमिर शोएब मोहिनी विष्णुई मोहित तिवारी मोक्षा राजन्ना मुदित अगरवाल एम नागा लोहिता एन अविनाश चौधरी नवमी सतीश कुमार निकिता सिंह निशा मुंशी निशांत सिंगला नितिन शंकरन ओमकारेश्वर सोलपुरे पक्की संतोष कुमार पार्थ ओम प्रकाश सोदानी पायल आनंद पिरावीन कांत आर पूजा बागरी प्रज्वल एल एम प्रखर गुप्ता प्रतीक प्रवीण कुमार वी प्रीतम सुरेंद्र प्रेरणा ए राठी प्रियम यादव प्रियंका मिश्रा प्रियंका सारस्वत आर गौरी अनिरुद्ध 
राधा किशन ठाकुर राघवेंद्र बी एस राहुल एम राहुल वशिष्ठ रश्मिका उन्नी कृष्णन रवीला नित्याश्री रावुरी निवास रेशमा के एस रिद्धि दुबे ऋषभ कुमार रीतम कर्माकर रितिका वर्मा रोहित एम रोशन नचानी रुद्र घोष दस्तीदार साक्षी मोदी सचिन ढींगरा सचिन आर शाईश्वरी धनंजय पाटिल सजल सचदेव साक्षी वर्मा सलमान खान सलोनी सिंह समंत बी एम संदीप अनाबरसु शरण कुमार वर्मा शरण एस सौरव शर्मा शफीउल्ला शारिका शालिनी खंडेलवाल शामिल सादिक शंकर प्रसाद सामल शौर्य सिंगल शिवम नथानी शिवम सहा शिवांश तिवारी शिवांशु गुप्ता श्रद्धा दुबे श्रेष्ठा सिंह श्रेया शर्मा स्मृति देवेंद्र तिवारी सोनाली जजोदिया सोनित कुमार जैना सौमिता दास सौम्या एस श्रवण करुतुरी श्रृंगी का उपाध्याय श्रीनिधि चेनावर श्रीनिधि श्रीनिवासन श्रीनिवासन एस सुदिनेनी यशवंत साईराम राम 
Suhasini SG. Surabhi Mondal. Shushant Kumar Behra. Shushmita Basak. Shushmita De. Sutish Kumar C. Swapnil Singh. Sayyad Yasir. Tania Chaudhary. Tarun Shah. Tina Annie Jacob. Ushodoya Srinivasu Gudipalli. Utkash Chauhan. Vanshika Shukla. Varunika Garg. Vinamra Thakur. Y. Divya Sarup Reddy. Kunta Krishna Reddy. Sadhanakari Harsha. Shashank Rai. Shubham Jain. Akhil Kumar Gumma. Last but not the least, Anto Sujan T.F. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you so much, Dr. Shashmita. I now request Professor Rajesh Kumar, Chairperson, Executive Programs, to present the students for conferment of the Diploma Certificate. Based on the recommendations of the Faculty Council and duly approved by the Board of Governors, I present to you the students present here and those in absentia who have successfully completed the prescribed requirements under the regulations of the Postgraduate Diploma in Management and have been found fit for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Management and pray that they be admitted. Sanjay, sir. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Center of Developmental Education, the Faculty Council, and the Board of Governors of the Institute, I admit you all, including those in absentia, for graduate diploma in management, and charge you to be worthy of this. May I request Professor Rakesh Medirata to carry forth with the graduation book signing. Audience, you will now see shortly the graduation book with the signature of Dr. Atish Chattopadhyay and Mr. Sanjay Padode. Audience, it is now time to present the certificates to our graduating students of Executive PGDM program. In the interest of the virtual mode, we will be displaying each student's photograph and the corresponding certificate on the screen. Student. Your memory of this moment will be a screenshot of the dignitaries with your certificate. Honorable Chief Guest, may I request you to present the certificates to the graduating students of the executive program as called by Professor Rajesh Kumar. Thank you. I will read out the names. Avinash Kumar Sinha. Ajay Thomas Varghese. Bijusha. P.M. Diksha Shetty. Gyaneshwar K. Pooja L. Saloni Kataria. Sandeep Ramachandran Tarakan. 
ವೆಂಕಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಸಾಥಿ ಮನಸೀಶ್ ರಂಜನ್ ದಾಸ್ ರಿತುಪರ್ಣ ದಾಸ್ ವಿನೋದ್ ರಂಜನ್ ಎಸ್ ಜಿ ಅಶ್ವಿನ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಶರ್ಮಾ ಅಸ್ಮಿತಾ ಉಪಾಸನ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ರಾಜೇಶ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾವು ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಮಚ್ ಅವೇಟೆಡ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಸೆರೆಮನಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಐ ನಾವು ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ರಾಕೇಶ್ ಮೆದುರಟ್ಟ ಟು ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಓವರ್ now it is time to celebrate the talent of our young graduates i have the pleasure of announcing the names of the students for the best students award in their respective categories i request the awardees to kindly switch on the cameras as their names are called out audience you will see the name of the award the certificate and the awardee may i request honorable chief guest mr madhukar govind raju to present the awards to the meritorious students uh, the first is deans and directors honor uh, honor list for two year pgdm program first aastha jangir priyanka saraswat thank you chirag S Thank you Thank you sir Manoja Minaga Thank you sir Thank you Varnika Garg Thank you sir Smriti Tiwari Thank you thank you sir Arjun H <coughs> so much sir thank you all Jayantika Arora thank you sir Anjali Krishna SP thank you sir now the deans and directors on the list for the executive program Venkata Krishna Reddy and thank then- you sir thank you and then best all round performance in two year pgdm this is summer samant bm thank you sir thank you okay congratulations everyone my heartiest congratulations to all awardees and thank you mr madhukar govind raju for doing the honors congratulations uh, we would also like to thank the company great for sponsoring our all round performance award with a cash sponsorship of rupees 15000 grade assesses students on 11 factors which employees look up to for the uh, uh, you know for employability so thank you so much grade and if the audience would like to learn more about the company they can go to take take grade.com thank you mr avasti for this very very noble gesture audits you may now give a hearty applause for the awardees okay right may I now request all graduating students to rise and take the oath we request all students to stand up and stretch their right arm forward to take the oath audience you will be able to see the awardees taking the oath representing their batch all students please do repeat the oath along with our professor rakesh medhuratta okay uh, kindly repeat your name when i ask you to do so please i i i repeat your name anucha pasan sir as a graduate as a graduate of jagdish state school of management as a graduate of chakrishadeepan school management i declare my pride i declare my pride in belonging to the inspired family in belonging to the inspired family 
of ignited minds. Of ignited, of ignited, ignited minds. minds. I recognize that. I, I recognize that. I have to honor the trust. I have to trust that society imposes on me. Society to enhance the well being of all. And enhance my well being on all. And achieve the ideal of common good. And achieve the ideal, ideal of good. common good. Therefore, therefore, therefore I shall pursue I hear all activities with genuine transparency. All, all activities with genuine transparency. Honesty, and honesty of excellence. And relentless pursuit of excellence. So my purpose is purpose, purpose is to use my knowledge. To use my knowledge. Use my knowledge and learning. And learning. And learning. Lead people. Lead people. Manage resources to create value. Manage resources, manage resources to create value. That no single individual. That no single individual. Can create alone. Can create alone. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my ability. Advance public well-being. Advance public well-being. I shall take responsibility. I shall take responsibility for my decisions and actions. For my decisions and actions. By ensuring accountability. Right. And, and sincerity. And sincerity. I shall conscientiously. I shall conscientiously. Honor and respect. Honor and respect. The rights. Rights. Opinions. Opinions. And dignity of others. And dignity of others. Today and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow. I, this oath I make free. This oath I make freely. And upon my honor. And upon my honor. Thank you so much. Thank you, students. Thank you so much. And uh, our heartiest congratulations once again. So, dear audience, uh, we would like to pause the ceremony for just uh, for a minute, and we would like to honor our beloved S K Chaudhary, our very very you know uh, fantastic faculty uh, member that we had, and I'm sure a lot of you students have experienced S K C and his uh, you know marvelousness. So, uh, we would like to observe three minutes of silence to honor him. S K C, sir, we miss you dearly, and this convocation. Uh, you know, would have it would have made the world of a difference to have you here. Uh, but may you rest in peace. So, audience, we would now like to observe three minutes of silence. Thank you all.
Professor S. K. C. Chaudhary will always remain in our hearts, and he will always be there as Jackson climbs ahead. Moving on, may I now request our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Madhukar Govindraju, to deliver the convocation address. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, Jackson graduates. How are you all doing? Congratulations to all of you. It's a privilege to be here with all of you today. Thank you, Dr. Jagdish Ket, Mr. Sanjay Padode, Dr. Atish Chattapadhyay, Professor Rakesh Medireta, Dr. Sashmita Giri, and Professor Rajesh Kumar. And thank you, Board of Governors, distinguished members of the Jackson faculty, staff, parents, friends, and devoted and anxious siblings. I'm really honored here, humbled, at the same time, very excited to be speaking to all of you here today. As we gather here, we cannot but remember all the sacrifices of our doctors, nurses, NGO staff, and all the frontline heroes and family members have been doing to help save lives and protect our communities and our country. As we assemble here, we are surrounded by the humanitarian catastrophe caused by the pandemic and so many precious lives lost as a result all over the world. On behalf of all of us gathered here, I would like to offer our deepest condolences to each one of you who has lost a loved one this past year due to the pandemic or otherwise. It's also important that we're grateful to all the good things we have in our lives today. We bow down with the grief sense of gratitude to all the heroes working tirelessly to save lives all over the world. I join you here virtually today from Cupertino in California, which has been home to me and my family for over 20 years now. But Bangalore has always been my hometown. I was born and raised in Bangalore. Bangalore has always been where I received all my initial education. As I graduated from the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore with a master's degree in computer science, I could not but help remember what my grandfather used to always tell me, follow your passion and success will follow you. He was a professor of education at the Maharaja's Teachers College in Mysore and later the founding principal of MES Teachers College in Maleshwaram in North Bangalore. Today it's not about me and I'll not be talking to you about my career or what got me here today. It's all about you. Today is a day of celebration, a day to celebrate all the hard work that got you to this moment. Today is a day of gratitude, a day to thank all those who helped you get here, nurtured you, taught you, cheered you on, and supported you during your worst and also the best times. Today is a day of reflection because it marks the end of a leg in your journey and the beginning or the commencement of something new. As someone who believes in lifelong learning, it's my hope that this is only a brief stopover in your education journey. For many of you, the path to this convocation has not been an easy one. You may have been the first in your family to attend college and receive a postgraduate degree. Choosing to go to college in by itself can be a daunting task lots of forms to fill out, meetings with advisors, placement tests, schedules to work on, and a whole new world ahead. Many of you face several challenges. You probably went to school in between working and taking care of a 
family member at home. There are probably times I'm sure you wanted to give up and said, this is, I'm done. And it wasn't easy, all that homework and paper. But here's the good news. You all did it. Congratulations. You persevered and it paid off. Celebrate your job very well done. As you revel in your accomplishments, be sure to give your families a big thank you hug for all the times that they were there to support you as is. While you're at it, thank your professors for all that they did in your life journey. Connect with them and stay in touch, not just connecting on LinkedIn and liking their posts on LinkedIn. Take a moment to tell them thank you. As you graduate from Jackson today and embark on the next leg of your journey, you can assume that there are several core values that are deeply embedded in your DNA. Being genuinely transparent, bringing unity through a sense of belonging, a relentless pursuit for perfection, unstoppable dynamism. You're being trained in the core values of Jackson called the GURU, G-U-R-U. What an apt acronym. But make no mistake, you will need to continue to develop these values. They will be the foundation for all your actions lifelong. These values will also lead you to a life of purpose and guide you to support your communities and your country as you move forward. Great leaders are not made, are made not born. You're all now embarking on a career journey to becoming a leader in your own way. Everyone talks about leadership. I actually think it's one of those words that is very overused in all for vocabulary. When I first took my first job after my master's degree, I really wondered who a leader was. All my professors talked about it all the time, never crisply defined who a leader was. I'll admit it, I wanted to be one. And for sure, I wanted to be one very quickly. Someone even told me, you can't be a leader without becoming a manager. And then once you become a manager, you can become a leader. I'll say this very emphatically. If you hear anyone tell you that, question them. I will state a very simple definition that I've gotten to define for myself uh, over the uh, you know, long career here. A manager is one that copes with complexity by focusing on operational excellence. You've all been trained in some form or the other of how to approach operational excellence. You're trained to become managers already today. A leader is one that excels with coping with change. That's the key definition, you know. A leader excels with coping with change. How does he do that? By focusing on setting direction aligning and empowering others, motivating and inspiring and persuading others to cope with change. That defines a leader, as simple as that. If you really reflect on where you are, each one of you have done it to date. You've all been leaders to date. And your graduation has helped you develop all the critical skills needed to scale your personality as a leader. You're already there. You don't need to become managers to become leaders. You're already leaders. If you ask me, what's the path of becoming a leader? The path doesn't end at any point in your career. It's a lifelong path. There are four principles for me that is, and I've seen that has shaped a lot of leaders. And personally for me has benefited me quite a bit. 
it has made me a different person over the past 30 years. I'll talk to you about these four principles, very simple ones. First one, always question the status quo. Champion bold ideas and take intelligent risks. Without risks, there are no rewards. Accept gracefully. Learn from their failures while trying new ideas. Always speak your mind, even if it challenges conventional wisdom. That's a simple thing to do as a leader. Number two, make decisions based on evidence or data and analysis. You should have the confidence to act with grace and without arrogance and always lead with trust and collaboration with your team. Somebody asked me a question a few years ago. In my career, how many decisions have I made alone without talking to anybody within the company that I was part of or within my team I was part of? Zero. You never make any decisions by yourself, no matter who you are in your career. You trust and collaborate with your team to make those decisions. Many of you have graduated here with specialization in data science, analytics. All of you are management graduates. Take the knowledge with you and apply that to every decision you make based on data and evidence. We're all endowed with executive brain function and we have the hardware, God-given hardware to make decisions every day. Always make decisions based on analysis of evidence. Number three, be a student always. Be curious always and embark on a lifelong pursuit of both personal and intellectual growth. Never stop learning from others and most importantly, learn from your failures. Number four, go beyond yourself. Always lead ethically and responsibly. You are a leader in everything you do. Take a longer view in your decisions and actions always. Put larger interests ahead of yours and lead with a purpose. You are on a great journey to becoming a leader. And no journey in life is fun without a companion. Find a mentor or a coach. Actually, Find many mentors or coaches who can help you with critical skills as you take this for journey forward. They can help you go on your journey faster. As the great author Isaac Asimov once said, the only thing that's constant is change. Our world around us is constantly changing. It seemed like only yesterday that the Walkman was the biggest rage. Today it's the iPhone and your Bluetooth AirPods, maybe Facebook, WhatsApp, Snapchat, and Instagram. I didn't mention barthmatrimony.com, ashadi.com. Tomorrow, I'm sure, we'll bring something new. In order to keep up with these changes, you will need to continuously grow yourselves. That's what has helped me in my career. I like to learn always from everyone around me. If our world was as predictable, predictable as we believe it should be, we would never be inspired to be creative or adventurous. Everything you do and everything you do not do is your legacy for yours and future generations. Remember that the ones that are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the only ones that actually do. It's so true. You can and should change the world. But always remember, be gentle with Mother Earth. Congratulations to each one of you and thank you. Thank you for those inspiring words, sir. I'm sure the graduating students will remember these words throughout their career. Now, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome Professor Jagdish Shet, 
with us. Students, you have the honor of being the first batch to graduate with the blessings of Professor Shade as the chairperson of Jagdish Shade School of Management. You are truly privileged. We would now request Professor Shade to give his address to the graduating batch. Thank you so much. Well, first of all, congratulations. You, are, you have to be congratulated because you are the first in so many things. You are the first class, first class of the Jackson School of Management, the first batch as we call it in India. You are the first one who has transitioned from the physical to the digital world. You are the first one to go through challenging times, managing in the COVID environment, epidemic that touches everybody's life and you have survived. You are the first one to have a job as early as December 2020 in an unprecedented time period when most other schools of management all over the world are struggling to place their students. You are the first one to learn differently. Having know-how is as important as know-why. Blending experiential learning or learning by solving, as we call it, is a unique platform. One third of your curriculum has some sort of a real world problems that you have engaged yourself in, in teams. And you are the first one, not only just a graduate of PGDM or executive program, but you are actually a graduate, what I would call a holistic graduate. You are given the understanding about empathy. There is a world out there we are all very privileged. And can we remind ourselves that our obligation is not just to ourselves, our career, our family, but to the broader ecosystem in which we exist, in which we thrive, in which we serve. And you are the first ones to learn how many traditional values of Indian origin are as equally important in the digital age as they were pre-industrial age. So my congratulations for being the first batch. We will always remember you will be the first alumni. You'll pick up more obligations for the future alumni and you will be able to engage them in the same way as you are being engaged now. My second comment is very simple. Thank everybody. Thank your parents who are with you right now in this virtual environment. But parents do enormous sacrifice. They take care of you when you're young. They nurture you. You cannot be at the PGDM level, which is postgraduate degree, without their support, blessings, etc. So please thank your parents as soon as they finish graduation ceremony. Thank your professors at the undergraduate level. It is somebody in your undergraduate college, wherever you graduated from, and I'm so impressed with the diversity of this graduating class because they've come from all over the country with all of the different backgrounds. It is very important, therefore, to find somebody who inspired you, not only to continue your education, but to aspire to do your PGDM. And of course, thank Jackson faculty. This faculty is unique, very different. They have a mission in their mind. It is more than a job as I interact with them, they feel like there's a purpose in life, why they are here to serve and get more potential out of you. In fact, I've always said that if you take a grain of wheat and make it into a loaf of bread, value add is only about three times. This is an agricultural commodity. If you take a rough diamond and polish it, a good diamond cutter gets the brilliance out of the rough diamond and the value add is about 15 to 20 times. But if you take a good human being, mentor, educate, encourage, the value add is infinite. And you have benefited that particular approach to Jackson, which we very strongly believe, how do we unlock your potential, not just the institutional potential? Institution is just a mechanism to do that. So again, please thank, be grateful of what you are. Of course, at any commencement, 
people like us are asked always to give some advice. <laughs> I I thought Madhukar's presentation was just brilliant. especially about leadership and the four principles he talked about is such a succinct way of articulating essence of leadership essence of life so mine are first lesson this is not a graduation in the sense that a terminal degree it is just a major milestone have the attitude of lifelong learning for a very simple reason half life of knowledge is getting shorter and shorter in software it is down to one and a half years we believe in management the same way half life of knowledge is decreasing so large for example i never heard of blockchain in my life or artificial intelligence i never heard of quality management even think about that one the industrial age created new concepts with which your predecessors last 25 years studied but you are into a new area of learning where the half life of knowledge is such that you have to make a commitment conscious time allocation despite a busier life that you will get into to say i need to learn constantly wherever i learn from and today learning is easy because all the knowledge comes to you you don't have to go to the knowledge or the library or a guru or somebody guru comes to you there is a beautiful saying if the student is ready the teacher will show up i love that saying because anybody can teach you It does not have to be somebody who is an expert your peers can teach you your colleagues can teach you your subordinates as you work in the corporation can teach you and most importantly the nature will teach you a lot the mountains the trees it's the attitude it's the aptitude that makes the difference so have a lifelong learning passion because the more you learn the more you will be active more you will be engaged you will feel a meaning in life through passion for learning which is what we are all about as i mentioned be grateful and madhukar made the same point you are a very unique privileged class we all are and it is absolutely important to remind ourselves that it is not just we who made it but today it takes a village to have a pgdm graduate just as he says it takes a village to have a child i think it's very important to be constantly reminding ourselves how grateful we are in terms of what we do personal happiness career family whatever we have every day in the morning have a sense of gratitude not for basically acknowledging others but changing yourself best way to change yourself is to have a sense of gratitude i also would like to add the last point and the one which is my passion remember so much society has given to you to be where you are and therefore it is time from now not when you retire from a career or something it is from now thinking about giving back you already got a sense about how much society can benefit from your talent time and treasure because you went to immersive programs intentionally into lower socio economic class neighborhoods learning about their life and getting a sense of empathy you cannot empathize unless you go through experience suffering maybe at the same time as many frontline health providers are going through right now even though they are trained the empathy comes much bigger in a crisis because it is touching everybody so i would basically say please think about giving back again my congratulations absolutely especially for me it's a big pride hopefully i will remember down the road that you are the first class pgdm of jagdish shet school of management thank you and welcome and congratulations Thank you sir for your words of wisdom and I'm sure that they will be cherished by each and every one of the audience and of course the graduating batch of 1921 thank you right i think the batch is extremely lucky to have heard uh, dr shet in person and to have heard mr madhukar and what fantastic words i just wish i was a student yeah. back again 
Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so we've reached the closure of a very, very memorable evening, and we do thank Mr. Madhukar all the way from Capitino yes. for spending, well, not his evening, but his very, very early morning with us. Thank yes. you, sir. Sir, we would have loved to have met you in person and handed over a token of our appreciation. Uh, maybe next time for sure. Uh, so we are pleased to present to you books authored by none other than Professor Sheth, The Accidental Scholar, <laughs> and The Business School in the 21st Century. <laughs> we would also like to present to you a collection of our three edited books of, uh, you know, written by our student, students themselves in, in student project work from this very batch. Their social immersion program, learning by solving, and in innovation incubation. Uh, we will be couriering these books to you, sir, the moment, the day the lockdown is over. Thank you once again for spending your very mm -hmm. precious time with us here today. May I now call upon Professor Rakesh Medirata to propose a vote of thanks. We have all gathered here today on this August occasion of the graduation ceremony of Jagdish State School of Management. This occasion has been blessed with the presence of a chief guest, Mr. Madhukar Govindraju, CEO Namli. Namli is a global organization with mission to improve employee performance and employee engagement through the development of soft skills. It is my honor and privilege to propose the word of thanks. Let us express our grat gratitude to Mr. Madhukar Govindraju for yeah. gracing this occasion with his presence. Thank you, sir. I would like to now extend my heartfelt thanks to our chairman, Professor Jagdish Seth, who is guiding, mentoring, and leading us to make Jackson a globally admired and recognized business school. I would like to thank Mr. Sanjay Padode, Chairman CD, for giving us the mission that we are living today. My thanks to Mrs. Kalpana Padode, Secretary CD, always there to support and strengthen us. We have Professor Parsuraman here with us, and I thank him yeah. for supporting us in our academic journey as the chair of board of studies and mentoring our faculty and students. Thank you, sir, for being there with us today. Thank you, my faculty colleagues, for being the catalyst of change in our students. Your dedication and motivation towards the student community have not just filled the students' minds with knowledge, but have ignited a passion for their chosen discipline that will endure long time after the graduation is over. Our staff, my heartfelt thanks to you for, for being the backbone of the institution and supporting the faculty, management, and the students in every conceivable way. My dear student volunteers, thank you for your solid support as always in helping us out in all activities related to this event. I would like to congratulate the graduating students and also like to use this opportunity to thank all the proud parents and family members who are there with us today. Yeah. I, will fail my I will fail in my duty if I don't thank Dr. Atish Chattopadhyay, our director. Thank you, sir, for being instrumental in helping Jackson soar new heights. Your strength in academic and strategic thinking leading Jackson to new heights is something that Jackson will always remember you for. Dear students, our blessings and good wishes are always there with you, and you will always be an integral member of the Jackson family. All the very best from us. Thank you. Thank you, Rakesh, sir. And yes, uh, you know, we have a lot to be grateful for, and congratulations once again to your students. Uh, may I now call upon Mr. Sanjay Patode to officially close the 25th convocation? I declare the 25th convocation closed. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you, everybody. Uh, so let us now all rise for the national anthem. Janagana mana adhina ayaka jayahe Haraka ke vidhata 
पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा प्राविणा ंज हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल तव शुभ नाम स्वागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गन गण मंगल जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय 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 ओके सो विद दिस वी कम टू अ क्लोज ऑफ वेरी मेमोरेबल एंड अ वंडरफुल इवनिंग uh it is now time for the fun part of the evening which are the group photographs uh so students uh, i will hand it over to shashvita ma'am who will give you the instruction this has been uh you know we we actually finished way before time uh so you know there would be a slight alteration in the timing okay so before, yes before shashvita takes over i would like to you know compliment you guys well organized very well done vinita very well done yeah. very well conducted sasmita all the best and your annual report has come out fantastic i think the batch is blessed to have faculty like you thank yeah, you yeah exactly <laughs> absolutely absolutely thank you it's it's our absolute pleasure <laughs> we love doing this <laughs> okay so so students uh, you i'm sure you've received the links for your group photographs as you know we will be taking it in groups uh, so there will be you and there will be faculty and there will be staff all in one screen so uh, you know it will seem like the real thing uh, and i'm now going to hand it over to dr shashvita who's going to give you the instructions thank you everybody uh... we have divided the uh, full batch uh, all the 208 students who are graduating today into batch of 5 uh, with different faculty members in different groups so we all can log out now and group 1 can uh, log in in the next session so i would request uh, pradeep to confirm that we can take a break of 10 minutes and log in by uh, maybe 8:20 so the group 1 link has gone to all the 45 members that is the screen size uh, 45 members who have received the group 1 link can join at 820 uh, then we'll uh, do the next uh, group 2 at 830 group 3 at 845 group 4 at 9 and group 5 at 915 thank you everybody for your support for making this happen today thank you all thank you sir thank you parsu sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you all thank you 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 th